That's my lemon face. It's me, Althatch. Hi, it's me, Althatch. So my husband literally just said to me, Althatch, you have to stop making videos about pumpkins. And I said, I'm sorry, what? He repeated, you can't just make videos about pumpkins. And I said, I don't understand. I can't help it if I have a love affair with pumpkins. Affair? It's not really an affair. Shouldn't, shouldn't have affair with vegetables. Shouldn't have affairs at all. Affairs are bad. If I can't make videos about pumpkins, then I will find another fruit and or vegetable to covet. This is a new segment I'm calling Alpatch Bakes Stuff. Insert cartoon baking Alpatch. She's cute, huh? Thanks, mother-in-law. My mother-in-law actually gave me this recipe and taught me how to make lemon bars from scratch. I don't make anything from scratch. Here's a secret, just you, just you. I don't even bake cupcakes from scratch. I'm gonna share with you the recipe for homemade lemon bars. Hi, it's me, Al Batch. And today, we're gonna do some baking. On today's menu, dessert. It may be fall, but the temperatures sure don't feel like it. So let's pretend it's still summer and enjoy a citrusy treat. We're gonna make lemon bars wearing Lemons. Here's what you'll need. Unsalted butter, all-purpose flour, light brown sugar, granulated sugar, a teaspoon of salt, three large eggs, a bowl full of lemons, my fancy lemons, make lemon bars, that's not right, measuring cups. What do I call this? Do you know what this is called? Baking dish. A 9 by 13 Pyrex baking dish. Oh, what's this guy called? A juicer and matches. A Pyrex bowl. An oven. A lemon dress. A recipe. Whose recipe is this again? Grandma Roo? Uh, no. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees and combine butter, sugar, flour, and salt into a large bowl. Stir ingredients until you've combined them into a lumpy mixture. Now, spray your 13 by 9 inch pan and using a tablespoon, press cookie base into the bottom of the pan until smooth by patting down with the bottom of the spoon. It's not for you. Alright, into the oven. Not you, here. Bake shortbread for 20 minutes until light brown. Now squeeze your lemons to get 3 fourths cup of juice. Add your 3 large eggs and granulated sugar and then whisk until combined. Now pour in your lemon juice. Give those a whisk as well. And finally, add your flour. Keep on a whisking. It's a good wrist workout. Time to check on our shortbread mixture. Success, golden brown. Now reduce the heat to 300 degrees and pour your filling gently on top of the hot shortbread base. Now bake this new mixture for 30 minutes until set, but not brown. You can dance while you wait. Oven mitts are fun. Time to pull out the finished product. Mmm. Smells good. Now, cool and sift confectioner sugar on top. It's like adding snow. And cut with a sharp knife and serve. Ta-da! Lemon bars and a lemon dress. Buster, what do you think? Buster approved. Kisses. I made a video that wasn't about pumpkins. Yay me! It can be done. It's just not as fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned how to make something and bake something and snake something if you're a plumber. Rake something if you're a gardener. What am I doing? Why am I just saying rhyming words? So don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on the Twitters. It's me, Elthatch. I'm probably the only one because Elthatch is not a thing. It's not a name. But it's me. Cheers and cupcakes. Love and lemon bars. Mwah! It's an ugly rubber band. Who always has rubber bands on their wrist? Raise your hand. I can't see it, but I believe you. But I'm not alone in this. It's like a total girl thing to have a rubber band at all times. Like, suddenly there's gonna be the apocalypse and you're like, what do I need? A rubber band! Phew! Close call. I miss pumpkins. Just kidding. <laughs> not really kidding. <laughs>